They rode in Teslas to the launch pad in a final rehearsal. But for astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, this is their ride that matters. The Crew Dragon capsule, now poised to blaze a new American path to space. Six years ago, Elon Musk's company only had a model of the spaceship. But NASA awarded SpaceX a $2.6 billion contract to fly its astronauts to the International Space Station. Liftoff of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. By then, SpaceX had already made history. The first company to fly cargo there. Houston, station on two, capture complete. And the first to develop reusable rockets, slashing costs, and revolutionizing the business model of space. By 2018, development of Crew Dragon was well underway. At SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, we met the astronauts training to be its first crew. Coming out here, it, it's a real motivator. This workforce is so young. They're excited about what they do, they're passionate about what they do, and it kind of reinvigorates you about why you got into the business, you know, so many years ago. For Apollo 11, the average age of a flight controller was 26. There was precedent for this. Yeah, obviously we weren't there, but I would certainly say that the NASA of the 60s was not drastically unlike SpaceX of now. Learning as they go, learning about flying in space, learning the hard lessons, and being successful. Start and lift off. Hard lessons like this one in 2015. A Falcon 9 rocket lifting cargo to the space station disintegrated minutes after liftoff. And we appear to have had a launch vehicle failure. While it's disappointing, it also can be a real gift to the final design. Liftoff. SpaceX is now on a streak of 62 successful launches, and Crew Dragon is armed with an escape system. Dragon launch escape initiated. If the rocket falters, its engines can push away the capsule, landing the crew safely in the ocean. And we have splashdown. You genuinely believe if something goes wrong, you've got options. Absolutely. We, yep. we really do focus on trying to remind folks that, you know, there are people on the pointing into this rocket ship and that's important to us. But there's another aspect of it that we are kind of an extension of what they're trying to accomplish. Mark Strassman, CBS News at the Kennedy Space Center. You can watch the historic mission take off live tomorrow afternoon, weather permitting, of course. Nora O'Donnell will have a CBS News special report. Also continuing coverage on KPIX.com and CBSN Bay Area.